I was close to my brother. Uh, I always got on with him, always looked up to him. Working class families, you kind of grow up in each other's pockets, you know. He was uh, older than me, but when I was in my teens, we started to hang out together. Uh, he was a big influence. Books I read, music I listened to, we go to gigs together, we go to the pub together, and of course, uh, football. Felt like I'd become best friends with my hero. Years later, when the rest of the family moved away, things were difficult for my brother. He had uh, a drink problem, and sometimes he'd disappear for days. And even though I was younger, I just thought I should be looking out for him. I'd go to the chemist, get medication for his mood, and one morning at 6 a.m. I drove him to the hospital. And, and my flatmate said, you can't be doing all this and do a day's work. And I just thought, well, you do these things for family. Then, just before Christmas, uh, nobody could get a hold of him. So I drove round to the flat and there was, there was no answer, so I let myself in and he wasn't there. And I'm in the flat, ringing places, rehab numbers, and I couldn't find him. And by the following evening, the, the police had found a body. I was the eternal optimist, and even when they were driving me in the police car to the mortuary at the hospital, part of my brain was like, it's not him. It was him. <sighs> After that, I was busy with the practical matters and I, I did it all. I organised everything and I spoke at the funeral. I stopped playing football. And my friends were like, oh, come back, come back. And I was, what's the point? I was going to the pub more. Uh, I could go out for a night with friends and buy more drink for the journey home and then start again when I got home. It's probably where my partner left. As the months went by, I just spiralled and spiralled. I was on my way home from work and I got in the bus. It was quite full and I couldn't cope. I had to get off the bus halfway home. I couldn't breathe. I was buying a bottle of spirits to get to sleep and it wasn't knocking me out anymore. And I kept telling myself, I need to get back to where I was in my mid-twenties. I need to get back to before my brother died. I had this fight in me to get back there because I liked that life and I wanted that life back. And I lost my job. My cousin took me to the GP. I tried to talk. I couldn't. I just wept. I didn't have the words. There's a Leonard Cohen song, Please Don't Pass Me By. And he says, one day you're going to be down on your knees begging for help. And I was. And thankfully, People didn't pass me by. <laughs>